And now your weather with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Average precipitation for the month of October is just over two and a half inches of rain. And the reason why I'm showing you this is that we haven't really seen a whole lot of rainfall so far in the first nine days, just picking up seven tenths of an inch, running about two thirds of an inch below normal. Now, there will be some rain that moves in here as you get into the middle of next week, but the overall picture doesn't really show a lot of moisture in the way. So perhaps, I mean, that might be a good thing. You want to go outside, you want to enjoy the fall colors. Well, Mother Nature won't be causing any heavy rain across our area. There was some light rain showers that did move in into southern Wisconsin. We're on the northern fringe of this today. Some clouds moving across the Fox Valley, but no rain. And by the afternoon, the sun came out and it's been sunny ever since as we transition into the evening hours. What's happening is a cold front moving down to the south and we have a high pressure from Canada drawing in some more dry weather. So tomorrow expecting a nice and sunny start to the day. But then on Tuesday after starting sunny, we'll have another system moving in here and that'll bring in some increasing cloud cover and then eventually some light rain showers. Where are the rain showers right now are moving down to the south into northern Illinois from uh, Wisconsin. Not a lot of activity, very minimal amount of moisture from this weak little disturbance, but we're really not seeing anything out of it. Just some cloudy skies and skycast tonight does show mostly clear skies, but with the clear skies and calm winds, the temperature will start to cool off a little bit, so that could actually cause some fog to develop in the morning hours and you see that over our Southern Fox Valley extending off towards the west. Now, how thick could the uh, fog get? Could get down under a fraction of a mile. So it's certainly possible when you wake up tomorrow morning, might have to add a couple more minutes into your commute considering the low visibility. The good news is that as the sun rises, all the fog will quickly dissipate and we'll be having a sunny day. And that will also continue early Tuesday morning before the clouds start to roll in here. Temperature planner for tomorrow getting into the lower and mid 60s. Our normal high is 61. Looks like we'll top off around 64 or so across the Fox Valley and perhaps maybe you have the day off tomorrow. Here's a look at the fall colors peaking up in the Northwoods, starting to see some patchy peak across the Fox Valley and getting near peak in Door County. Now here's a warm up that'll be moving in here as you get into Tuesday. We'll climb into the 70s, but then quickly back down into the upper 40s for highs and with that frontal boundary could have some light rain showers that move in as well. So that'll be the best chance of rain uh, late Tuesday night through on and off Wednesday and perhaps even early Thursday morning. Cooling off into the upper 30s tonight. Calm winds partly to mostly clear skies. Watch out for some chance of some patchy fog tomorrow. We'll get up to 64 southeast winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then as we head into the next few days, 74 on Tuesday. But then we cool down into the lower 60s on Wednesday and then upper 40s on Thursday. That's going to be a cold one. And it looks like another cold day on Friday for some showdown before rebounding quickly to the 50s on Saturday.